Okay. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. All right, good. Loud and clear. Um, Acts chapter 5 today. Acts chapter 5 for the day of the month. The book of Acts is wonderful. We can learn so much from it. I don't think we go to it enough to... We don't have we don't have New Testament churches because we don't study the New Testament. Um, we, 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 sir, we, we wheel your chair over here so you can hear better. Wheel it right up over here. Thank you. You're very smart. How come you got so much problem pulling your pants up? No, no, because I ride this wheelchair pulls them down. Yeah, I pedal. Yeah. Well, we got to get him pulled. But no, just, I, just, I just went in there and pulled them up. Well, kind of like reach down on and pull them up because I don't like seeing your no, fat no, stomach and your up. belly button. No, they're pulled up. They're all the way up. Well, I'm, up my belly. No, you can pull them up above your belly. No, no I don't wear them like that. Huh? I don't wear them like that. Sure. Well, then you don't wear them in oh, here. Yeah, well, yeah, huh? No, 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 they're all the way up, all the way up to here. They're covering my backside. So. Well, they ain't covering your belly button. Pull them up in the front. I, pull my pants and shirt down. I said, pull your, pull your shorts up in the front. That ain't good enough. <laughs> They're all the way up. They're not. Why ain't they? <laughs> why, why you get so cantankerous? I'm not. I'm hot. I'm hot. It's about 103 out there already. You blow this thing about 200. Hey, hey, no excuse. Hey, hey, uh, please don't let your name, but you keep out of my business. Ma'am, uh, sir. Right, right, she keeps yelling at me. I, I, no, sir. Out of nowhere. Out of a notable name. No, don't, don't say anything, uh, Joanne. I don't know. Okay, uh, you're going to have to leave. Because you're, you're causing disruption. Well, I'm okay now, right? No, you're not okay. You're going to have to leave. Okay, well, that's not good. I'll see you outside. Okay. You're going to get in trouble with the police, too. You keep talking that way. No, I don't say anything. Yeah, I know where you live too. Yeah, I know where you live too. I'm sorry, folks. I, I apologize for people with bad behavior, but but the only way that I can, uh, but but the only thing uh, I can say for the reason I did what I did, I I'm, I have to have our church decently and in order. And I, I want it pleasant for all of you that are here, and that's what, that's what we have to do. I'm sorry that sometimes we have to remove someone from the premises uh, for, the, for the benefit uh, of our unity and uh, the tranquility of the church. So I guess I don't have to say much because you, he, he's for what he said he was. And Facebook, I forgot you're on here. Sometime we've got troublemakers come in our church. We've got to have a Holy Spirit church and people that come up there bent on nothing but trouble. Uh, we've got to remove them. So that's the way it is. All right, Acts chapter 5. By the way, uh, <clears throat> just to finish up the thought on this fellow that was here, uh, he's been a whole number of problems for quite a while, and this was like kind of the last straw for him. So that's the way it is. Just, I mean, he, I had, he did enough right here to dismiss him, but he's been pulling stuff for quite a while. So I'm sorry about that, folks. I, I run into him all the time. 
But a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira, his wife, sold a possession. It's nice to have a possession to sell, you know. A lot of our people come in here. They got two nickels rubbed together. They don't have a house. They don't have a car. Uh, they don't have a bike. They don't have anything. So uh, at least that's a pretty good position to have uh, be able to sell the possession. Now, if you're underwater on a property, you, you, you know what it means to be underwater on a property? What it means to be underwater on a property is you, 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 owe, more, you owe more money on a property than it's worth. So you can't sell it then. You can't give it away because you give it away, so I'm going to have to pay on it, you know? So anyway, uh, these were, I believe they were Christians, Ananias and Sapphira. Sold a possession and kept back part of the price, his wife also being privy to it, and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and keep back part of the price of the land? While it remained, was it not thine own? And after it was sold, was it not thine own power, the money? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart that thou hast lied not unto man, but unto God? And by the way, this, this particular passage is a very strong passage in the Bible uh, that affirms that the Holy Spirit is God. Because you see a couple couple lines ahead there it said uh why hast thou allowed to the whole why hast thou lied to the holy ghost and the verse we just read now but thou thou hast not lied unto man but unto god so what does that say he lied to the holy ghost and when he lied to the holy ghost he lied to god and so what does that mean the holy spirit the holy ghost is god Amen. that's an affirmation of that here now, let's just get a little history. I'm studying the book of Acts, and I'm going to do a lot more studying on the book of Acts. And the fifth day of the uh, month, I, I, I read the book of Acts. The, the chapter for the day, for the day of the month, that's, that's what I read. I, I try to tell you to do that. It doesn't take that long. It takes a few minutes. I'd read it every day. I'd, I'd get a Bible reading chart and I'd read through, I'd read through the Bible in a year. Take you 14 minutes a day for the average reader to do that. I'd read Proverbs for the day every day, and I'd read five Psalms every day. Unless you, unless you get to a real long one, like the 119th Psalm, it's the longest chapter in the Bible. You might want to break that up into a couple pieces, read half of it one day and the other half the next day. But other than that, Psalms aren't very long. Usually in that read five of them. Uh, so, uh, but the book of Acts is so important to read, and, and I've been reading it for many, 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 many years, most all of my years of salvation. April of... 1969, 79, 89, 99, 109, 119 will be 50 years. So 49 years I've been a Christian. And I think about all of my Christian life, I've read the book of Acts the day of the month. Now, when you get to 29th of, of the month, you run out of chapters. Because only 28 chapters in the book of Acts. I just recommend you just go back to somewhere else in Acts and read one of those chapters. That's what I do. But I, I've learned from the book of Acts, and I'm learning more. I'm learning more every day. And I'm, I'm, I'm learning some key things. And uh, I... 
I wish you would immediately, I wish you could get what I get when I get it, but when I get it, I get it. I try to get it to you. You might get it or you might not. When we all get on the same page with God, we're going to have something very wonderful to go on here in our church like it did in the book of Acts. So we want to measure the things that happen in the book of Acts and follow their example so that we can have the results that they had in the book of Acts. The world... What do the, uh, the business world, worldly ventures, what is the goal of the business world, church? Anyone can answer me. Prosperity. Huh? Prosperity. Prosperity, money. Yeah, they want to make money. It's, it's the bottom line. If, if it makes money, not just talking about uh, it, it, that's the way business is. If it'll make money, uh, they they count that success. Now in the Christian world, how do we count success in the Christian world? Anybody church? What is success in the Christian world? Winning souls. That's it. Exact answer, Dennis. Winning souls. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. All right, now. So that's our goal. Uh, you know what 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 that is when we we use that term, winning souls. But actually, it's just fulfilling the Great Commission. The Bible says, go on to the whole world and preach the gospel to every creature, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. That, that's the Great Commission. And then Jesus gave it again in Acts 1 8. And here we go, starting with getting this, uh, this place, this book that tells us what the church ought to be doing now as it then did. And you shall be endued with power, dudamus, <coughs> after the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and the uttermost parts of the world. So we have to start, if we want to get the New Testament credentials of success and winning souls, we must study the book of Acts very carefully. I've, I've come up with some new, I've had, I've had times in my ministry when I've won a, a lot more souls and my organizations have won a lot more souls. The Daytona Rescue Mission, which I was in charge of in Daytona Beach. Uh, the Milwaukee Rescue Mission, which I was in charge of in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, was responsible for many, many souls uh, being saved in uh, the late 1978s, all of the 1980s, and the beginning of the 1990s. There's literally thousands of people saved. And I think, why? What did I do then that I'm not doing now? The environment was part of it. That's possible, Vern. I don't think so. My friend Jack Hiles is in heaven now who had the biggest Baptist church in America, won more souls than anybody. He, on one given day, I don't remember what, in, in, in one given day in the 1980s, I think it was towards the end of the 80s, maybe the middle 80s, 
he, his church, First Baptist Church of Hammond, Indiana, baptized. Uh, how many were baptized on the day of Pentecost? 3,000. 3, Saved, baptized, out of the church. Brother Hiles, on a given Sunday, his church was responsible for baptizing over 10,000 people. One day? Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> the area is bigger. Huh? Hammond, Indiana is pretty good side by Chicago. Oh, it's yeah. And, 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 yeah, and this just wasn't Hammond. Hammond is right next to Chicago. Yeah. These 10,000 that were baptized were in the greater Chicago area. Yeah. And, and, and you're right, Vern, and when you say environment, it is because where there's more people, more people can get saved. There's no question about that. If uh, 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 if you're living, uh, uh, if you're ministering uh, in a in a rural area uh, that has, you're in the mountains or or you're out in the wilderness somewhere, and there's a little city there of a hundred people, and there ain't nobody within two hundred miles from you. I mean. Uh, you're limited by your crowd, amen? amen? So the best you could do would be what? A hundred. You couldn't get 10,000. Now, where Hiles was ministering, uh, eight million in the area, in the greater Chicago area, eight million, that's a lot of people. But um, he had it going on. He, he knew, Hiles knew. And I learned a lot from him. He was my personal friend. And I attribute a lot of the success of God, why God showed his blessing in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, was because of Jack Hiles. I learned from him what he learned from God, what he learned from the book of Acts. And so I take those things, and I'm not going to go into details right now in Sunday school this morning about what I'm not doing now that I was doing then, that there were a lot of people to say, we reached a lot more people. I know exactly what the problem is. But there's more than... I got part of it, Billy Joe, but I didn't get all of it. I'm starting to get all of it now. I'm starting to learn a little bit more because I'm studying the book of Acts more carefully. I'm studying the book of Acts more carefully. Uh, let's just hit a couple points. I'm not going to read into the... Well, well you know, the, uh, you know, actually in the original... There is no Acts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There, there, is, there is none. There's just what? The book of Acts. Uh, that's it. Who we got out there? Go out there and see what's going on. No, no, you don't have to go. Just, just one guy. Who is it? Oh, okay. That's fine. I didn't know what if she had uh, Doris was dealing with someone. I don't know who was with. Huh? My neighbor too. Who? My neighbor. Oh, okay. Great. 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 Uh, so when we when we look at the when we look at the whole deal or the whole place. Hi, Lisa. Hi, hi, David. So when we look at any part of the book of Acts, like we just read the first couple verses in five, we look at the whole book of Acts. Because in the original, in the original, it was just one manuscript, the book of Acts. It was a scroll. The Acts, I don't like to call it the Acts of the Apostles, I like to call it the Acts of the Holy Ghost. I think that's that's a better better way to call it. Amen. So I'm examining it closer. 
I got part of it when I was in Milwaukee, and I lost most of the part I got in Milwaukee. That's not we're not. That's why I'm not having Holy Ghost results here like I did in in, in Milwaukee. But I found more. I'm, I'm going to try to fill in the gap and get back to what I was doing in Milwaukee, so that we can see some Holy Ghost results and people saved and. And we saw a lot of that in Milwaukee. We we don't see it here because I, I've ceased doing some things I did there. Uh, don't have as much people here, Vern. Like I don't have as much people here as I did in Milwaukee. But uh, we got lots of folks here. We got lots of folks here in Bel Belushi County. So uh, God can work here according to the crowd we have and according to his Holy Spirit power. But there was something that happened. I'll just look at the first part of it. I didn't have time to look at the first part of it. I might just preach it in church today. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. We're going to start church at 10 o'clock. I'm glad you're here. Let's pray we have a great service. Amen. 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 Lord, thank you now for the book of Acts and yes. Holy Ghost power. Help us now to get it. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Now, Billy Joe's going to be starting to play now. And uh, we'll be starting at 10 o'clock. Listen to him play before that time. Go to the bathroom if you need to. Throw your cigarettes away. Oh, Billy Joe said, throw your cigarettes away. If you're planning on going out and smoke, don't. Bring your cigarettes to, to Papa up here. <laughs> Give me your cigarettes. I, I'll dispose of them in the proper manner. And this ain't the proper way to dispose of cigarettes. That ain't the proper way. The proper way is throw them on the ground and stomp on them, say, no, they're of the devil. Stomp them so no one else can smoke them.